Uh, so, as you might expect, you can learn the Warrior Specialization Berserker from Ogren. But let's talk about something else now. How do you like life on the surface? It's sodding great. At first I was a little queasy with all that air, but there's just so much of it. No one has any idea who you are or what you're doing. And the ale? Oh, who'd have thought? Ale made with grain. <laughs> Aye, the surface is great. It's like a big, bright world of filth without a ceiling. My kind of place. Hey, let's go find something to kill, huh? All this talk makes my hands twitchy. So, do you miss Orzammar? What? Miss Orzammar? Are you mad, in addition to being ugly? <laughs> they treated me like a puddle fly back there. I'm never going back. So what is it like to be a warrior in Orzammar? You get a sword or an axe, and are told to go out and defend your city. It's the best thing in the world. That is, until you try to live in the city you saved. What do you mean? I mean, they train you to kill, teach you to harness your rage at the first noise you hear, then try to set a hundred sodding rules about it. Like those provings. <laughs> Ancestors show their favor through the strongest arm, right? So why so many rules saying how to fight, and when you win, and not to bloody kill? Killing's what swords are for! Hmm... I would think that fighting without killing is a skill of a true warrior. Yeah, if that's how you feel. I'll try that out next time the dark spawn are chewing on your leg. <laughs> this makes me cranky. Don't you have any other inane questions? Ah, uh, he makes a fair point. Ah, so, let's see. Allied supply crates. A communal box of the resources you have collected for your troops. Ah, so... Perhaps this is a place that we may... Put those items that the emissaries have been requesting. I have to keep that in mind as I wander around. And speaking of giving things, there's a couple more gifts here I want to give. We have. Let's see. There we go. We have a black rune stone for Alistair. Is that for me? Really? Wow! I'm... T wow! <laughs> um, and we have a totem for Sten. Unexpected. Thank you. And let's see. I believe... Zevron is a lover of all kinds of silver and gold bars. You have excellent taste. Alright, that should do it for now. Okay, we've spoken with Ogren, so now I'm just going to go through the rest of the party, and if uh, any any uh, new dialogue comes around, we shall uh, engage in it. You are not quite as callow as I thought. That is unexpected. Um, thanks, I guess. You're welcome. So will you tell me now exactly why you were caged? I caged myself. A weak mind is a deadly foe, as you are no doubt aware. What do you mean by a weak mind? That is complicated. I told you before that I was sent here. I was not sent alone. I came to your lands with seven of the Beresad, my brothers, to seek answers about the Blight. We made our way across the Ferelden countryside without incident seeing nothing of the threat we were sent to observe. Until the night we camped by Lake Callanhad. They came from everywhere. The earth beneath our feet, the air above us. Our own shadows harbored the dark spawn. I saw the last of the creatures cut down, too late. I fell. That sounds like what happened to me at Ostagar. I heard the stories of Ostagar. Your kith stood their ground when others fled. No one can do more than that. 
I don't know how long I lay on the battlefield among the dead, nor do I know how the farmers found me. I only know that when I woke I was no longer among my brothers, and my sword was gone from my hand. So what did you do? I searched for it, and when that failed I asked my rescuers what had become of it. Did the farmers know where it was? They said they found me with nothing. Did you believe them? I did. I knew they didn't have the blade. They had no reason to lie to me. I panicked. Unthinking, I struck them down. You, you panicked over a lost blade? That sword was made for my hand alone. I have carried it from the day I was set into the Beresad. I was to die wielding it for my people. Even if I could cross Ferelden and Tevinter unarmed and alone to bring my report to the Arishok, I would be slain on sight by the Antarm. They would know me as Solas, a deserter. No soldier would cast aside his blade while he drew breath. But couldn't you search for it now? If I knew where to look, it would be in my hand now. Well, where did you fight the Darkspawn? Near Lake Kalanhad. Well, then we'll find it. Perhaps those words are empty, but thank you all the same. All right, we're just collecting companion quests like crazy now. Um, this is Stens, and uh, we have one more reason to uh, go to Lake Kalanhad. And that's to see if there's any trace of his lost sword. Do you find Ferelden very strange? To put it lightly, no one has a place here. Your farmers wish to be merchants. The merchants dream of being nobles, and the nobles become warriors. No one is content to be who they are. Well, is there anything you like about Ferelden, then? There is... interesting food here. You have a thing. It doesn't have a word in the Kunari tongue. Little baked things, like bread, but sweet and crumbly. Cookies? Yes. We have no such things in our lands. This should be remedied. Hmm. I'll keep that in mind. Shall we move on? So don't the Kunari themselves ever want to change their lot in life? What does that accomplish? The farmer who buys a shop is never a merchant. He is always a farmer turned merchant. He carries his old life with him as a turtle carries its shell. Maybe he was meant to be a merchant all along. Meant by whom? And if that were indeed his purpose, why did that mysterious source of meaning not make him so to begin with? Well, how do you find purpose if you don't look for it? You can learn to find it in doing your duty, in serving your people. There is no need to search for it. Shall we move on? When we first spoke, you sounded a bit homesick. Perhaps. It's strange to be in a crowd and hear a language that is not your own. To see faces that are and aren't like yours. I miss the smells of Saharon. Tea and incense and the sea. Ferelden smells of wet dogs. Now yeah, we're going to learn later that he's not the only one who thinks that. Well, the dogs don't smell that bad. Skunks don't mind the smell of other skunks either. Shall we move on? Oh, that was kind of low. 